Thank you. Welcome back to Midday. Always laughing when Jamie Garbett is here. Mm. Thanks for joining us, oh, Jamie. Thanks for having me again. You're our favorite sustainability <laughs> educator. Thanks. <laughs> um, we're talking with you today about uh, retrofitting uh, your taps or your, uh, I guess your your faucets or your taps to save water, right? Exactly, yeah. I so didn't even know, like, I, I would never think to do that. This is so interesting to me. And it's so easy to yeah. do, because I'm always telling people, like, take a shorter shower, turn off the tap when you're brushing yeah. your teeth or while you're shaving, and those are behavior changes. So for some people, it might be a little more difficult, but if you have a low flow shower head, the device does all the work for you. Oh, okay. Now obviously you still take a, a short shower. But. Yeah, you can't take a 40 minute shower just no. because she's giving you something that you can hook onto the... Um, but this definitely helps because depending on your shower head, it could be using like 22 liters per minute. Wow. So that adds up quite quickly, whereas this one's very, very low. This one actually only uses six liters per minute. And it's still... It's just, it's still good. So it's just adding some air into the... Water pressure. Exactly. It's still okay. giving you some, some air into the flow. So it's just going to help out. So some really quick fixes are your, for your basin sinks. So this one here is only going to use about uh, four liters um, per minute instead of using like up to 19 potentially. So okay. um, they do help out. So this one here is just for a kitchen. So the only thing that, Yeah, I've seen that one. Yes, okay. Yeah, so the only thing that you'll notice is if you're going to be filling up a pot for spaghetti or mm -hmm. for some tea, it's just going to take a little yeah. bit longer. But um, when you're using these, the nice thing about it is not only are you saving water, you're also going to help save on hot water costs. Um, and then it's going to help the city as well because then we don't have to pump and distribute and then okay. treat the water in the end. So that saves energy as well. So when you okay. conserve water, you're saving energy. It's just little things that we can yeah, do they along all with our up. behavior changes. Yeah. Um, what are these? Are these? So these are just some shower timers. So I tried to get the, like, the, this one has less plastic. So if it does break, you're throwing away less plastic. But um, just to keep you on task because you okay. should have it, be able to do a shower in five so minutes or less. that's timer. Mm -hmm. hmm. And let me tell you, <laughs> they're good because if you don't have one, you might take a, a 10 minute shower. As I found <laughs> out the other day, my husband telling me. So, so the, she the is guilty of it too. Yeah. So these do help keep you, you on are. task, which is nice, right? Yeah. Or just set a timer on your phone yeah. um, so that you're not having a, a, a long shower. So okay. Let's it is doable, up. right? Let's line these up so Marcel can get a good shot. Yeah. And then try to always fix your leaks. And sometimes it's just a little washer. They're super inexpensive. The nice thing about all these devices is they're very inexpensive at your favorite hardware store um, so mm -hmm. and if you do need one I do have a couple extra on hand you can connect with me directly and I can and I can hook you up so so these um, aren't very expensive then. no like I mean for the tap air readers you're looking at you know under ten dollars for a, a shower head depending on how fancy you want to go I mean they they can be like closer to a hundred dollars but this device here is probably about thirty so they can be affordable in the long run. They are going to help you save some, some water and help save you some hot water costs as well. Yeah. And then off, also on your utility bill as well, right? Yeah, so. is that what you see a lot of people mostly? I mean, there's so many things that we, we're learning about now and not, how, how not to be wasteful, but water is a big one. I feel like we take it so for granted, right? We, we do, yeah, because yeah, it's all around us. We have a robust system passing through our backyard. So, um, but, you know, there's other communities like around the world mm -hmm. that don't have clean drinking water or mm -hmm. accessible water. They have to walk to get to their water. Right. So um, we are very fortunate, so we should value it. And be mindful. Exactly. Great. Thanks, mm -hmm. Jamie. Good Great. tips, as always. These are just some little things that you can do along with uh, changing your behavior as well. Camloops.ca mm -hmm. for more information. We're back in a moment on Midday. Don't go anywhere.